now at the Fox Creek JSM 2002. So it's got a little bit of bottle age on it and there's certainly a large number of people on the database now who are preferring to try some of these wines that are coming out of um, some investor accounts and they're often for sale at a discount to retail which is always quite interesting. Um, so we're having a look at O2. It still should be in good shape. You'll see that the colour is slowly but surely getting that that brick that brick colour to it, but still pretty pretty bright and lustrous. The nose is knitting well. Um, this is a this is a predominantly Shiraz blend, but it's made with Shiraz, Cabernet, and Cabernet Franc. There's lots of cherries. Getting a lot of. Um, Fresh, almost like a fresh meat flavor on the nose, but the, the thing that's predominant is, is like a really rich cherry and spice, masses and masses of spice. Texture is fantastic, it's a beautiful balanced mouthfeel, um, the wine has great length, it's perfect for drinking now, I'm not sure what sort of price point this is going to be offered at yet. Um, but um, I really like that, and I think anybody who's followed the line of drinking the mouthpiece or any of those bottle-aged O2s, O3s, etc. from us will definitely be interested in having a look at this one. Um, it's in its window. It's actually matured and ready to be drunk, so I think we've caused it at exactly the right time in its cycle. It'll probably go for another year or two, but I really, really like it right now. So don't worry too much about what the critics say. If you like it, just drink it. Cheers.